Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can create decision tree in Power BI. Okay, maybe you heard about this decision tree algorithm in your data science course. Now in Power BI, we can also create this decision tree in a very simple way. So before moving to Power BI desktop, let us first understand what is decision tree. So it is an upside down tree. A decision tree splits the data into multiple sets. Okay. And each of these sets in further split into different subset to arrive at a decision. That means it's based on some decision also it is dividing into another subsets. So decision trees make it very easy to determine the important attributes in your data set or in your algorithm. It requires some test on attribute to split the data into multiple partitions. So decision trees can go back and tell us the factors which are leading to giving a decision. That's why it is helping to find out the important attributes in a data sets. So if you want to know more about this decision tree, you can check my blog where I have provided some important key notes about this decision tree algorithm. Okay. Now we are moving to Power BI desktop. Now we are in Power BI desktop and for this case study, I have selected this US Superstore data. How will I get this decision tree plot? You just need to go to this get more visuals. Okay. Your dialog box is open. Now you can type decision tree. You got this decision tree. Now you can add to your visuals. I have already added, so I'm closing this. So my decision tree is there. How I have created that? First, I've just click on this decision tree. Make it a bigger size. You can observe. I have to provide some target variable and some input variables. So in the target variable, I'm adding cells and the input variables, I'm adding discount. You can observe this uh, decision tree has been populated. Okay. So based on this discount value, it is taking some decision about the sales data that is predicting some sales based on the discount value and here you can observe if the discount is greater than 0.55 then if it is yes then it will go go to this branches and if it is no then it is going to this branches again it's making some decision okay based on that also it is creating some other branches in this way they are creating all those branches and they are making the final decision there are some parameters in the format section which you can set okay first of all I'm adding this tree parameter if you enable this tree parameter you can find out this maximum depth is 15 that means it's a maximum depth is a 15 and minimum bucket size is 2. So in this way, you can set up this tree parameter. These are also part of this decision tree algorithm. Whenever we are doing some coding in Python or R, where we need to mention all these parameters. So in Power BI, in this format section, you can define all those parameters and it will be displayed in that format. So I'm not uh, changing anything here. Let me move to another parameter section that is advanced parameter. There are also three type of variables you can define complexity, cross validation and maximum attempt. Okay. How many time it will attempt to make some decisions and this cross validation is also part of our decision algorithm like n two fold, five fold, ten fold. So I'm just, I'm not changing anything here and I'm keeping as an auto cross validation okay it will be automatically it will decide and this 
complexity. So this type of parameter which are part of your decision tree algorithm you can define here. Another format you can do here that is additional parameters. If you enable this you can observe this show warning and so info will be always enabled. So in this way you can create this decision tree. Now one more thing what all the R packages are using for this decision tree custom visuals? The decision tree chart is based on this R package R part to build the model and R part dot plot to visualize the model as a tree. I hope you learn about how you can create a decision tree in your project. So thank you. Thanks for watching.